Over a hundred San Francisco Mission Street vendors are fighting back just days before they're prohibited from selling on this street. They have permits. They have the ability to be here. You're not going to shuffle the board simply because you think that's how you're going to solve the problem. Vendors say the 90-day ban from Supervisor Ronan is unfair. Last week, they created the Mission Street Vendors Association, bringing together a group of 116 vendors seeking to delay the ban. It says, mi familia depende de mi trabajo. My family depends on my job. Te preocupa tu familia. You're worried about them. Estoy preocupado por mi familia porque... I'm worried about my family. Tito, Luz, and Luis Ledesma are family. Street vending has been their only source of income for the last decade. They got their first permit in 2015. They don't understand why their livelihood should be impacted because the city is overwhelmed by those selling stolen items and attacking inspectors. I don't know what to do. This ban is part of a strategy to regain control of the sidewalks. What happened is that it has really overwhelmed our resources. And frankly, the number of vendors that are operating on the street is impossible for us to regulate right now. Santiago Lerma is Supervisor Ronin's aide. He showed us one of the three locations they're planning to open for vendors on Monday. Um, we're spending in total about $500,000 um, in rent and construction for the three sites. Many view selling indoors as a setback, especially during the holidays, when their businesses make the most money. Sofia Lopez is part of the association and said she has been following the rules for over a decade and is concerned the ban will be extended past the 90 days. ¿Qué esperamos para el otro año? ¿Qué esperamos de ella? What are we supposed to expect from her for next year? Nos tiene en el limbo. We're in limbo. And as to the possibility of delaying the ban. The reason that we can no longer delay is, is simply because of the crisis on the street. 